Hello, I'm Grim and welcome to the second build request coming out of Star Wars Month. This request comes from George who has asked if I can build a TIE Fighter that can explode, which tickled me a little bit because usually I'm working pretty hard to make sure my vehicles don't explode. I have attempted to build a TIE Fighter once before, but I was so displeased with the result that not only did I never show it off, but I didn't even bother to paint it. So why even bother mentioning it here? Well, quite simply because I went into this build request with the knowledge of my prior failures. And from these failures, I learned two valuable lessons. Firstly, hexagonal wings are very difficult to make, and in nuts and bolts turn out rather garbage. Secondly, square wings on a TIE Fighter also look just as wrong. And thirdly, I learned that minimalistic designs such as TIE Fighters are not actually as easy to create as they would seem to be, because in their minimalism you still have to fit all of the working parts. If I had learned a fourth lesson, it would be that I cannot count because three lessons are more than two. But alas, I didn't, so those are the three two lessons that I learned from my last attempt. Because of lessons one and two, I went into this build building an octagonal wings for the TIE Fighter rather than building hexagonal ones. It's not technically correct, but it still looks fine in passing, and really, if someone has that much time to count how many sides there are on the wings of your TIE Fighter, it means that you should simply shoot them down faster. And as you can see out taking up the large bulk of the middle of these wings are large trays. This is because I'm fairly sure had I used super panels I would have come up against the part limit, although I'm not certain I didn't bother testing it. It did however end up serving the dual purpose that when the ship does blow up it breaks up a lot more like a TIE Fighter does in the movies, because due to the wings being more solid they come off as more of an entire piece rather than shattering into lots of little bits. I wasn't entirely happy with the end result of the cockpit area because it doesn't look quite as bulbous as it should as I had to have wedges coming off trying to implement the shape of the joints between the wings and the cockpit a little bit which unfortunately sacrificed in other areas. And obviously the jets don't look quite right either but the ship needs to fly and the cockpit only being three blocks deep meant that I simply had to put the TIE Fighter's means of propulsion somewhere and that was really the only place. There was also obviously no place to hide wings on this vehicle either, so getting the thing off of the ground and stopping it from just rolling over itself is two more small jets facing downwards hidden in the connector of the wings. And similarly hidden there is a detonator on the one side and a gyroscope on the other. It would of course be better if the gyroscope was in the middle of the vehicle being it not function as well if it's not symmetrical, but it still gets the job done pretty darn well. And so there you have it, a TIE Fighter and Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. There are some areas that I would definitely like to improve on it, but it is at least considerably better than my previous attempt. Oh, and of course this one actually blows up. If you would like to replicate this vehicle into your own save, as always when I stop talking in a moment, there'll be the layer by layer of it that you'll be able to follow and copy. And so with all of that said and done, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time I have been and still am Grim Grindle. Oh, 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 oh,